In this section, we will discuss alkylation, a conversion process used in refineries to maximize the production volume of gasoline. Actually, unlike isomerization, which primarily objective is to chemically rearrange normal paraffin to isoparaffin in order to improve their octane number and provide good quality blending component for gasoline, Alkylation does not bring chemical rearrangement to address a quality concern, but rather to address quantity concern. Because gasoline demand is constantly increasing, refineries have to cope with this demand, and alkylation is the appropriate process for this. It actually takes light hydrocarbon, like butene, propane, isobutene, which are too plentiful in a refinery, but unfortunately, cannot be fully used to make gasoline due to their volatility and turn them into heavier molecule, less volatile, but can be fully incorporated into gasoline, thus increasing the production volume of gasoline. So, alkylation, to put it simply, is a refining process that takes small volatile hydrocarbon molecules and turns them into larger molecules compatible with the gasoline blending. In this example here, the reaction of butene and isobutane forms alkylate in the presence of acid, which is an isoparaffin. Alkylate is an excellent gasoline blending component as it has no sulfur, no olefins, no benzene, has high octane number, and a low red vapor pressure. A gasoline blender is dream. Under ideal condition, alkylate consists mainly in C7 and C8 isoparaffin called isoheptane and isooctane. The butane in the feed are so reactive that other not so high octane component like alkylate form as byproduct but fortunately for the refiners, not enough to undermine the attractiveness of the alkylation process. So now, let's take a look at a typical process scheme for an alkylation unit. A typical refinery alkylation plant consists of seven parts. The cooler, the reactor, the acid separator, the caustic wash, and three distilling columns. The feed, which is a mixture of butene and isobutane, is first mixed with an acid. Refinery use sulfuric acid or hydrofluoric acid as catalyst in liquid form. The mixture is sent to a cooler, then is introduced to the reactor. As the liquid passes through the reactor, it encounters mixers to ensure all the reactants are in good contact in presence of the acid catalyst. The mixture then goes to an acid separator. The acid is drawn at the bottom and reintroduced back to the reaction section. Eventually, some fresh acid is injected into the system if required. Hydrocarbons are then drawn at the top of the acid separator. At this level, hydrocarbons still have some traces of acid in them, so it is treated with caustic soda to neutralize the acid. Finally, three standard fractionation separates the alkylate from light products. The alkylate is recovered at the bottom of the debutanizer and as seen earlier, is a good blending component for gasoline. So the alkylate is sent to the blending section of the refinery for gasoline make. The deisobutanizer, which is the second distilling column downstream the reactor, is very essential to the process. It separates the isobutane that did not react and recycle it back to the feed. So this was a simple overview of the alkylation process 
used in the refineries to maximize the production volume of gasoline. In the next section, we will see the third conversion unit used for gasoline, which is called catalytic reforming.